I am officially a year and a week sober from alcohol, seven months off weed. That was actually unintentional. And cigarettes, like, same. Unintentional, but, like, just didn't want to do it anymore. And then vaping took a hold of my life. And then I stopped that, like, a month ago. Well, over a month ago for surgery. So in that way, like, surgery just basically put the nail in the coffin. And now I'm, like, technically straight edge. All I do is just, like, work out and eat to oblivion. Um, But, yeah, it was all unintentional how it all worked out. Like, the main thing was, like, alcohol, and then everything just followed. But I'm just making this video to let you guys know, like, if I can do it, you can do it. If you're looking to get sober, like, I'm not over here to be preachy-preachy. I don't work a program. I'm very, like, Drew Barrymore approach. It just wasn't working for me. I noticed the effect that it was taking in my, like, daily relationships and just me navigating work in general like it started to become my personality of like the party girl which I'll always be but like it was something that I did it wasn't something that I am so um and I'm not saying that this is going to be my life forever um not jinxing it or anything but like who says that my life is going to be the same you know in a few months or whatever I just know that I was like suppressing my true spirit and identity with the bottles and When I let her emerge, I had to be in a sober mind of thinking. And every time I had a long spell of being sober, this is my longest spell spell of sobriety, but I did 10 months before and all these feelings came, came up before of like who I truly was. And when I allowed that to emerge, like, you know, it's a beautiful feeling, but who's to say like where I'm going to be in a couple years or like a few years down down the line, but right now this is what works for me. And I'm very proud of myself and I'm proud of you for even taking steps if you're interested. If not, bitch, party on, drink for me. Like Alaska says, we look prettier when you drink anyways. If you could deal with it, I'm jealous. Maybe I'll be able to deal with it in a few years, but right now my health and my mental stability is the most important for me right now. But anyway, if I could do it, you could do it. Love you.